Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we've covered some weird newly discovered creatures on this channel before, but this recent underwater discovery off the coast of Chile may have some of the weirdest creatures I have ever seen. A couple of them, you're just like, what, what am I looking at right now? And I've got some excellent footage of some of the weirder creatures from this groundbreaking discovery, along with the why, from an environmental perspective, this discovery is so exciting. So get cozy and get ready to look at some of the weird things that Mother Nature has come up with. So in January 2024, a group of scientists boarded Schmidt Ocean Institute's research vessel Falcor 2 to explore underwater mountain ranges off of Chile's coast. The Schmidt Ocean Institute is a nonprofit foundation founded in 2009 to advance innovative oceanographic research and discovery through technological advancement, collaboration, of research, outreach and education, and open sharing of information. They basically support oceanographic research by providing their collaborators with free ship time aboard their two research vessels, and this was one of those expeditions. The team, led by Dr. Javier Selenes of the Universidad Católica del Norte, wanted to understand biodiversity of these little explored seamounts near Chile. They used cutting-edge technology like ROVs, multi-beam sonar, and other sensors to get a comprehensive look at life on a seamount. And a seamount is basically an underwater mountain with very steep sides. And their results were astounding. In less than a month, the expedition had documented 100 newly discovered deep sea animals, including species of deep sea corals, glass sponges, squat lobsters, dumbo octopuses, saphanophores, and jellies. It was an all-star lineup of some of the deep sea's most captivating residents. This month-long expedition targeted a 2,900 square kilometer section of sea mountain created through volcanic activity. This area's unique combination of currents and a nearby low oxygen zone means that this particular stretch is somewhat isolated. This results in very high levels of endemism, meaning that there are animals here that aren't found anywhere else on the planet. In fact, about half the animals found in the deep sea region are endemic. And here's one of them that I'm just a little obsessed with. It's probably a new species of sea toad, a bottom-dwelling anglerfish that seem to use their pectoral and dorsal fins to both swim and to sort of walk along the bottom of the ocean, or in this case, land on a rock. And you can hear members of the expedition in real time as they are watching all of this. There's also this beautiful, unknown species of whiplash squid, surrounded by ink, probably from seeing the ROV, with its just enormous eyeball. This dive has no sound, so I'll just toss a little music on it for a few seconds. And then there's this squat lobster, which is just an amazing name for an animal. I mean, look at this guy with his enormously long spiky legs just hanging out on some coral, having a snack. On one of their dives at about 1,200 meters down, they came across this incredible bioluminescent creature. It's a type of comb jelly, they believe, known as a cytopid. I mean... What is even happening here? And it just goes on and on and on and on. And like I said, they estimate that they think they discovered over a hundred new species, including whatever this thing is, which they've named in their video, Headless Chicken Monster. 
Many of their dives took place in a marine protected area, roughly the size of Italy. The team collected data and samples from 10 seamounts at depths of up to 4,500 meters, or 15,000 feet. And that is deep deeper than Titanic deep. They also used underwater mapping technology to record more than 52,000 square kilometers of ocean floor, and in the process discovered four new seamounts. And what's crazy is during their expeditions, they are basically live streaming all of this. If you go to their YouTube channel, there's this massive list of dive streams that are basically seven, eight, nine hours. And it's basically just from the perspective of the ROVs, like wandering around, looking at stuff, collecting samples. And the researchers are on mic too, so you can hear them laughing with each other, looking at stuff, being like, OMG, what is that? And there's also a live chat too, like commenting on everything that they're finding. It's all just very 2024, like live streaming underwater science discoveries. It's just the most modern thing I've ever heard of. According to Dr. Selenis, their results far exceeded their hopes for the expedition. He said, you always expect to find new species in these remote and poorly explored areas, but the amount we found, especially for some groups like sponges, is mind blowing. The next step is for scientists and their partners to use genetics and other methods to officially identify the observed species. Another expedition is already on the way and you you can follow all of it in real time on Schmidt Ocean Institute's YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description below along with their website, which includes info on how you can donate to their cause if that's something you're interested in. And according to them, what's really relevant about ocean exploration now is that new technology is allowing us to go in some cases for the first time, to parts of the ocean we have never been to before. Ever. Like, huge areas we have never been to before. Areas so big they have underwater mountains in them that we know nothing about. And for the researchers, it also shows how ocean protections put in place by the Chilean government are actually working in terms of bolstering biodiversity, which is an encouraging sign for other countries who are looking to safeguard their own marine waters. So it really is a pretty exciting time, especially if you're someone like me whose mind is so easily blown by the incredible diversity of life down there. They have a trailer featuring the work that they do, and it features even more bizarre looking creatures, so I will post that over on my Patreon, so head over there if you want to see some more bizarro looking creatures, and also find out more info about the Institute. They also do an excellent job of making a case for the importance of preserving these incredible communities. According to them, we are only starting to scratch the surface of what they're is to discover in the deep sea. So it's important that the deep sea, along with the rest of the ocean, is healthy to preserve what's there so we can discover it. And listen, if they keep these dive streams up, I don't think they're going to have any trouble convincing people. Okay, that's it for underwater creatures today. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe name a favorite new creature. Mine is definitely that sea toad with its weird fin feet. Fin feet? What are we even doing, nature? Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.